between Roy Webb of Lorne and Gary Maxwell of Sheffield. Both boys weighed in this afternoon. Roy Webb weighed in at eight stone, 12 and three quarter pounds. Gary Maxwell, Sheffield, weighed in at eight stone, 12 and three quarter pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, and in the red corner, from Sheffield, Gary Maxwell. And on my left, in the blue corner, from Lorne, Roy Webb. Your referee is Mr. Barney Wilson. And from the blue corner, with the curly hair and sporting a brand new growth of beard, is Roy Webb, still very much a contender for the British Championship title at Bantamweight. His opponent tonight from Sheffield, Gary Maxwell, the 20-year-old, and he's been a fairly active recently. In fact, he fought just nine days ago in Nottingham, when he outpointed Nigel Senior in an eight-rounder. Well, Webb, a little bit of trouble right from the word go with his glove and referee Barney Wilson signals to Gary Maxwell to go and find himself a neutral corner. Robbie McAllister, Roy Webb's trainer, who's been with him all the way through his amateur days and has stayed with him now that he's joined the professional ranks, is fixing up the glove. So, Roy Webb's glove 100% once again, and back they go. Exactly the same weight this morning, 8 stone 12. But Maxwell, a good three inches taller than Roy Webb. Maxwell more used to boxing at around featherweight. Webb, quite a few pounds heavier than the bantamweight limit. The useful left hands from Webb, but they looked as if they were coming from the open part of the glove. And this aggressive style of Webb's is allowing him to be caught, and Maxwell is certainly catching him. <laughs> Webb really has quite a bit to do. The last time he appeared in the Ulster Hall was in April of this year when he had to retire against Swansea's Peter Harris in a final eliminator for the British Bantamweight title. At least that's how it started. Harris came in overweight but Webb had to retire at the end of the eighth round. So Webb, some ground to make up. Webb still getting caught. Maxwell swinging long lefts and rights. certainly very anxious, but he's not going to progress if he keeps throwing them as widely as that. Less than half a minute to go in the first round, and it's Maxwell who's done most of the scoring punching. And exhortations from the crowd to Webb to keep his guard up, because he has been getting caught all the way through this first round. That's the 24-year-old Roy Webb, and he's getting a considerable talking to from his trainer, Bobby McAllister. It was a very loose first round from the man who still has British bantamweight title aspirations, and he'll not want to get caught by some of the punches dealt by Gary Maxwell. Thank you. 
Webb of Lawn comes out of the blue corner for the second round, having, on my card anyway, lost the first to Sheffield's Gary Maxwell. He was a lot less experienced than Webb, who, before he turned professional, was a very seasoned Irish international and, indeed, a Commonwealth Games silver medalist. That one in Brisbane in 1982. Maxwell again using that considerable reach advantage and he slips those punches in very crisply. close in but when he steps back the long left hand of Maxwell catches him. This one's giving and taking. A good left hand but he didn't quite connect. getting caught again he's not doing too badly once he gets inside those big long arms of Gary Maxwell Maxwell again punching the crisper that's the 20 year old Gary Maxwell and the man looking after him is the very experienced Brendan Ingle who is the trainer to the European middleweight champion Harold Graham among others he lost his first professional fight that a year ago in Stoke, but he's won them all since then. And he's certainly been giving Roy Webb a fairly testing time. That slicing right hand missed, but he caught Webb with the left on the way back. gone and life not comfortable at all for Lars Roy Webb and the 20 year old Gary Maxwell from Sheffield the taller man by a long way has caught Webb throughout the first and the second rounds with rights and lefts Webb bobs and moves about but he's not able to get out of the way and Webb a little bit anxious Well, a rather interesting style. He's standing almost at 90 degrees to Webb. Yeah. And Maxwell doing good work inside this time. won his first 12 professional fights and it was the cliched and proverbial case of unlucky 13 that in April when he was forced to retire against Swansea's Peter Harris so we're hoping to get back on the winning trail and he's perhaps picking things up a little bit now Tidy in this round. And Max 
Maxwell still coming forward. Well, a good right hand by Maxwell, but Webb caught him with a right and a left. And Maxwell looking a little bit flat-footed at this stage. And his right hand punching is now being done with the flat of the glove. A better round that for Webb. And let's face it, he really needed it. So, trainer Bobby McAllister and manager Barney Eastwood having a little word with Roy Webb who perhaps lost the first two rounds and came back and shaded that third one. Well, that was a bit of a slap. And a good left hand it was indeed, though, for Maxwell as he came in, but Webb getting out of the way nicely. Halfway through, three rounds to go on this scheduled six-rounder. Roy Webb looking slightly anxiously at his trainer, Bobby McAllister, as he came out of the corner. And one wonders, has that shoulder injury which he sustained last April bothered him? while doing the scoring earlier on. And at this stage, Webb certainly doesn't look anywhere near British bantamweight championship level. from Webb, the open left hand. <laughs> Anxious looks from Barney Eastwood in Webb's corner. Good right hand from Maxwell, Webb felt that. for Maxwell. Not quite a clean contact, though. It's a bit better from Webb. Maxwell moves out of the way very well. Final minute of the fourth round, and Webb under some pressure. Webb holding a little bit. Finishing the round, the stronger. <laughs> He's won his last six fights as Gary Maxwell is first pro fight in September of 85 was a, a loss on points to Stevie James, but he's had six in the trot since then, and the most recent just nine days ago in Nottingham.
And midway through that round, when Webb was coming forward, he just stayed on two flat feet and was caught by that glorious right hand from Maxwell. And there it is again, and Webb's head jolted backwards. So Webb quite some way to go if he's to avoid a second successive defeat. Only his second in 14 professional contests. And the Ulster Hall crowd will have to get behind Roy Webb. That's incorrect punching. Good left from Webb. He does have these little flurries and little explosions, but... They really haven't affected the taller boy from Sheffield, the 20-year-old Gary Maxwell. He's very strong, and again he catches Webb with that long, loping right hand. Unleashed the left hand that really caused him some damage. Now Webb could finish this. Maxwell looking at all sorts of trouble. Barney Wilson watching him. He'll have to stop it. He'll have to stop it. Well, I don't think it's going to require stopping. Gary Maxwell, exhausted, gets to his knees. He said to Brenda Lingle, I'm all right. But Lingle obviously concerned because Maxwell stayed in his feet and took. A considerable barrage, a very disappointed Gary Maxwell, but Roy Webb came back in some style in that fifth round when it looked as if it was slipping away from him. And Webb suddenly came right out of the blue. There was the good right hand from Maxwell, and that suddenly seemed to sting Roy Webb because he caught him with the right hand and he caught him with lefts and rights and at that stage, Maxwell's knees were gone. Now, he really was staying on his feet, and how he was, nobody quite knows. Webb, quite incensed, and that little right uppercut was the one that really finished it off, and there must have been two dozen punches before Gary Maxwell collapsed. I must ask you not to let him stick his hand through there. It's very distracting, the little boy. Very distracting. Yes. Well, what a finish it really was by Webb. That left hand, the right, and that staggered Maxwell. He had been in command for most of this fight so far, but Webb suddenly seemed to find something else. And knowing that he had a point to prove in front of the Ulster Hall audience, who are very appreciative of his talents as an amateur. And at that stage, Maxwell was absolutely gone, and that right uppercut really finished it off, and he took perhaps a dozen punches quite unnecessarily. <laughs> 